on them. If you love them, come on, if you love the Lord your God, come on, put some hearts on the screen this morning. We're just going to worship him today. We're just going to give him honor because he deserves it. Come on, say, I love forever. I love you forever. I love you forever, Lord. I'm going to sing it again. I love you forever. You sing and say, I love you forever. I love you forever. Love you. Love Come on, say, forever, Lord. Love you forever. 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 Love you forever, Lord. I love you forever. And then. Hallelujah. 
hallelujah come on if you love him give him praise and honor right there our scripture reading this morning comes from psalms 36 verse number seven says how excellent is thy loving kindness O god Therefore, the children of men put their trust under the shadow of thy wings. They shall be abundantly satisfied with the fatness of thy house, and thou shalt make them drink of the river of thy pleasure. Let's have a word of prayer. Father, we thank you for this moment, God. We thank you. God, that last night was not our last night, God. God, since you woke us up this morning, since we can hear this morning, since we can see this morning, since we can feel this morning, God, God, we're going to be careful to give you one more praise, God. Not praising you for what you've done, not praising you for what you're going to do, but God, we praise you today just because you are God and God all by yourself. So we pray now, God, that you have your way, that you move across the this stream, God, that you touch every household, God, that you touch every person, oh God, oh God, those who are willing to receive you in their hearts today, God, go into their hearts, God, and bring a change, God, go into their bodies, God, and bring a deliverance, God, bring a healing, God, Father, have your way on today like only you can, Father, bless our men of God, as he gets ready to bring forth the word this morning, God, let him preach with preaching power, give him an anointing where preaching can be easy oh God God have your way in this place God in Jesus mighty name God and we declare that we have the victory in Jesus name victory over poverty victory over sickness victory over oh God oh God pain victory over COVID-19 God victory 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 in Jesus name we pray and we thank you it is so amen come on we're gonna go ahead and give them some worship we just going to stay there. We just going to stay there. We just going to stay there and just worship him. We just going to worship him for who he is. Yes, God. We just going to worship him for who he is. Hey. You are Alpha. That's who he is. And Omega. What are we going to do? We worship you. Come on, praise the Lord, everybody. Come on, it's Sunday morning. still blessing us we are still here and thank God for just another day come on somebody put your hands together and give God a hand clap of praise I don't know about you but I'm glad to be here amen we got so much to thank God for today 
Oh, hallelujah. My soul praise him today. Good morning, Pine Grove. Good morning, good morning. God bless you. Get your cup of coffee. Come on in and get ready for the word of God. Let me say hello to you that are out of town. Special hello to my brother and my sister down there in Georgia, Billy and Annie. Hello down there. All of my cousins, relatives, Lori, and all of you. Hello. God is good. I'm just excited this morning just to be here. Our chairman, as always, is with us this morning. Uh, Deacon Grant, as well as uh, Minister Giles, First Lady. We are thankful to be here. Listen, there has been a lot that has been going on. My mother has, um, they had test, uh, she test positive for this COVID-19 and they had put her in um, quarantine. And for the last few weeks she's been, but everything she just kept right on plucking, right on plucking. And, um, but guess what? She never had any symptoms. She never had any kind of symptoms of this COVID-19. And praise the Lord, on Thursday, they let her out. They say she came busting out of the room with her in her wheelchair and everything. So I just thank God. My mother is out still bossing everybody. She, but God will bring you through. Come on, somebody, and say amen. Come on and put your hands together. Thank God, thank God. Let me say thank you for the way that you have been giving. You have been tremendously wonderful in your giving. God bless you. Last week, we were out in the parking lot. Thank the Lord. We're on the inside this morning because it had been flooding here. Amen. But God is doing some great things. Continue to give, continue to do what you have been doing because we've had several things that we need you to continue to give for, but God is taking care of all of that. Amen, amen. We're not going to be very long today, but I just want you to get ready to receive the word of God. Our scripture for the morning is taken from Hebrews, the 6th chapter, Hebrews, the 11th chapter, and verse 6. Hebrews, the 11th chapter, and verse 6. This is coming from the New Living Translation, the 11th chapter, and verse 6, and it simply says, and it is impossible to please God without faith. Anyone who wants to come to him must believe that God exists and that he rewards those who sincerely seek him. Then I want to, if you will, go to Hebrews, the very uh, Hebrews 11 chapter and the first verse. Hebrews 11 and 1 simply says, faith shows the reality of of what we hope for. Faith shows the reality of what we hope for. It is the evidence of things we cannot see. Oh my God. And then if you want to look at it from another perspective, you can just say faith is the confidence that we have that faces the confidence that what we're hoping for is uh, was really the reality of what will happen. Oh, my God. Let me really just get into this this morning. Our subject for the morning is growing in faith, growing in levels of faith, growing in levels of faith. What kind of faith do you have? You can put that in parenthesis. I asked the question, what kind of faith do you have? Growing in 
levels of faith. Now, I have a level here, and you know level means this way, but we're talking about from one level to a next level, growing in levels of faith. And as you grow in those levels of faith, you want to make sure that it stay level, not sideways, not crooked, but growing from one level to another level. My brothers and sisters, I, I want you to think about this thing growing in faith. Now, you know, we just talked about uh, Sunday school. We talked about a living faith, didn't we? Amen. And Sister Betty, she taught that thing, uh, a living faith. But this morning, we want to talk about growing in levels of faith. What kind of faith do you have? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Now, let, let's look at this thing. Nobody is born fully grown. Nobody is born fully grown. But when you receive Jesus as your personal Savior, God begins to work in you. You wasn't born fully grown, but you were a babe when you accept Jesus as your Savior. And when you accept him as your Savior, God begins to work in you. I know that's true because the Bible says in Philippians 1 and 6, he says, He which has begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Christ's return. You see, something is happening. Something is progressively happening, which means we go from one level to the next level. But I got to ask you this morning, my brothers and my sisters, what kind of faith do you have? Uh, what level are you on? Oh, oh, God. Now, Hebrews 11 and 6 starts out by saying, it, without faith, it is impossible to please God. You gotta have faith if you really want to please God, my brothers and sisters, because anyone who comes to him must believe that he exists, number one. When you're gonna come to him, you gotta first of all believe that he exists. Not only believe that he exists, but believe that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. If, you go, if you're going to believe, you got to believe God is who he is. Everything that God does for us, it has, it has access, it gives us access through faith. And yet, faith somehow is still confusing to many of us, just as it has always been. Faith is something else. And we need to really, we, we, we can talk about faith, but do you really understand faith? We can preach about faith, but do you really understand faith? I, I, I just want to start out this morning. Uh, let me talk about faith. Because if we are going to make it through this pandemic, if we are going to make it through this COVID-19, it's going to take faith. Oh, my brothers and my sisters. Now, faith, when you really look at it, we can look at faith for a human faith. Now, you might say, I'm just going to, before I really get into where I'm going, you know, we can, we can look at human faith, and, and, and what is that then? I might say, well, that's, if I say, there's a chair over there, you'll just go over there and sit down, because Everybody has some human faith. But now, if you throw a leg over there because, you know, that human faith is not going to let you go over there and sit. Human faith can only believe what it sees. Human faith only believe what it sees. Think about that now. You got some human faith that only believe what it sees. 
that says a lot, my brothers and sisters. A human faith believe what it sees, what it tastes, oh God, what it sees, what it tastes, what it can hear, and what it can smell, and what it can feel. And all of this is the five senses. That's just some human faith. But my brothers and sisters, today we want to talk about growing in levels of faith. Now, when I really want to start out by talking about this thing, when we get to levels of faith, we can call faith a lot of different things, but I'm not going to get into that because there are faiths that so closely related together that they almost sound and act uh, uh, the same way. And then there are some that's simply different. We can talk about common faith, great faith, genuine faith, and all of these faiths, my brothers and sisters. But this morning, this morning, we want to get on to looking and talking about the Christian faith. And that is based on what God has promised us. Oh, my God. I want you to really stop and think with me just for a little while. Faith. Now, faith, my brothers and sisters, is based on God's promise rather than feeling and all of that. And when you really look at this thing, Abraham, it talks about Abraham. It says, Abraham being fully persuaded, oh my God, that what God has promised Oh God, our lights are going in and out here at the church, but that's okay. I hope that you're still there. Amen. Is everybody still on? Amen. The lights here going in and out because of the weather, but that's all right. I'm going to have faith that it's going to work out. Come on and use your faith. Come on. Because we've had some rough weather here this morning, and our lights been going in and out. But we want to look at this thing. Abraham, my brothers and sisters, being fully persuaded that what God had promised him, that he was able to perform it. You got to believe that if God promised you something, he's able to perform it. Oh, God. Now, I want to talk about probably about nine different kinds of faith. I, I, I think I, I got about eight or nine different kinds of faith that I really want to talk about this morning. And I want to start out by, number one, measure of faith. Oh God, a measure of faith. And God has given all of us a measure of faith. A measure of faith, it, 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 it's kind of like uh, you, you got this, this tape here and, and, and a measure. Every one of us, when we accept Jesus as Christ, we have a measure of faith. Because God has given all of us a measure of faith, a faith that is sufficient for salvation, a faith that is sufficient, my brothers and sisters, that will keep us going. Let's start out with number one, a measure of faith. And then we want to move from a measure of faith to a growing faith. Number two, write that down. A growing faith. A growing faith is a steady progression from a measure of faith. That means my faith has gone from just a measure of faith. It is growing, and now it is greater and is a strong faith. Oh, my God. From Canaan, a Gentile. She was not a Jew. This Gentile, and they had very little faith in God. But this woman, she saw Jesus, and she requested to Jesus, Lord, if you just heal, to believe God without question. Do you have unwavering faith today? Ah, oh, God, Hebrews 10 and 23 says, Let us hold fast to the confession of our hope 
without wavering. Look at that thing, what it says. Let us hold minded man, unstable in all of his ways. Look at that, if you will. That's James, the first chapter, verses 5 through 7. James 1, 5 through 7. A waving face is like double-minded. It is unstable and, and, and unbelief in refusing to act on what you say you got faith. You say, yeah, I got faith, but you ain't really acting on it. My God, a wavering face is a faith, is, it's, it's just like a double-minded person. Oh, God, just go back and forth, back and forth. We got a lot of wavering faith Christians right in the church. Sometimes I have to ask myself, oh, Lord, I, I don't want to be wavering because sometimes circumstances can cause us to think, well, what level of faith are we? Where are we really when it comes to our faith? Now, I, I, I really want to move on just a little bit further. Uh, six, faith without root. Faith without roots. If you don't have any, any, any roots that's growing down in the ground, Jesus spoke of faith without roots. It is a type of faith that springs up quickly and it looks beautiful and strong. And because it has no depths to it, it falls just as quickly as the temperature hit it when the trials come along and when we act like we got a whole lot of faith and it seemed like we are well ground, grounded in the word of God. But when the trials come, that faith that looks like it was strong, that faith that looks like it was well grounded, and that's the temperature, and it falls apart because it had no depths in the soil. We had no depths rooted in our faith in the God that will bring us through. What kind of faith, my brothers and sisters, do you have? Is the ones that are on the rocks, those who when they hear and receive the word with joy, then these have no roots. That faith is a faith without roots. You can look in the church and the preacher can be preaching and People just get to shouting and they get to just acting all, all, all strong in their faith. But as soon as something come along, they fall apart. That is an outward thing that looks like it's strong but has no depth, has nothing that holds on. You're not anchored in God. You're not anchored in his word. Oh, God. Oh, my God. One of those who, when you hear and receive, you need to look at Luke, the 8th chapter and the 13th verse. Oh, my God. Come on, come on, and let's look at this thing. What kind of faith do you have today? Well, number seven, faith without works. And when we look at that, someone say, you have faith. One says, you have faith, and another one says, I have works. The scripture says, show me your faith without your works, and I will show you my faith by my works. If you look at James, the second chapter in the 18th verse, too many of us are saying that we got faith, but we don't put no action to it. We got faith but we don't put no work behind what we say we have. We've got to be Christians that got root to our faith, Christians that got work with our faith. Yeah. We're going to show you yeah. our faith by how we walk. I'm going to show you my faith by how I act. I'm going to show you my faith. And brothers and sisters, that will help us during this time of this pandemic. Oh, God. Let's look at number eight. Number eight, strong faith. Oh, God. That's what you ought to look up and say, God, give me strong 
faith. Because Romans 4 and 20, Abraham, uh, it says here, he staggered not at the promise of God through unbelief. Because, but he was strong in his faith, giving glory to God. Look at that thing, Romans 4 and 20. Abraham had some strong faith, even when it didn't look like it was going to happen, even when it looked like an impossibility, even all of this. And when God even told him that you were going to be the father of nations and it looked like it wasn't going to happen, but that's why we walk by faith and not by sight. Oh, my God. Strong faith will not turn away regardless of the situation. Let me say that again. Strong faith will not turn away regardless of the situation or the outlook. It digs and holds fast until it receives what it has been asking God for. Oh, God. Oh, God. Many Christians desire this level of faith. I don't know about you, but I desire a strong faith. But it seems that only few can maintain this faith while thanking God for the answer in advance. Is your faith strong enough that what you have been asking for, you're going to go ahead and thank God in advance before you get the answer. Lord, I see it in my spirit, God. I see it, God, in my, in my spiritual mind, God. But my physical eyes are telling me that it's not there. My physical eyes are telling me that it won't happen. My eyes, I don't see it. Oh, God, and others are telling me that it won't happen. But you, oh, God. If you have promised it, God, I'm going to stand with strong faith. Well, the ninth one, and we're getting pretty close to an end, a genuine faith. A genuine faith can help guide us through this pandemic. A genuine faith can help us when we are on our sick bed. A genuine faith can help us when everybody else walk away and turn their back and you stand on the promise of God. We need a genuine faith. Well, Brother Porter, you talked about nine or ten different kinds of faith. I don't know where... I am. We really talked about 10 kinds of faith. But uh, I, I know the one you didn't put up there, but we started out with one. Uh, but anyway, I want to get ready to end by saying that you might not know which one of these faiths that you have. You might not know if you have a measure of faith all the way down to genuine faith. But if you just go to Matthew, the 17th chapter, verse 20, it says, If you have as much faith as a grain of a mustard seed. I, I, I don't know why. And, and, and these other faiths, you know, when you go here and you Google that, and it talks about that kind of faith and that kind of faith. But Jesus said, in Matthew, the 17th chapter and verse 20, that if you have faith as a grain of a mustard seed, you can speak to the mountains and the mountains will move. What kind of faith do you have today? Faith will carry you through. Faith woke me up this morning. Faith keeps me going. Faith keeps on. What kind of faith do you have today? I'm getting ready to go. But I'm glad that faith is all that you need today. Oh, Lord, I'm glad that when I get a little bit weak, 
when I might not feel that I got that strong faith. Well, I might not feel that I got that genuine faith. Well, I might not feel that I got the faith that I need. But, oh, God, you said, if I have as much faith as a grain of a mustard seed, everything, everything, it'll be all right. It'll be all right in the morning. Weeping may endure for a night. But oh joy, oh joy, joy comes in the morning, joy comes in the morning, oh Lord, because Jesus went to Calvary, Jesus shed his blood, oh yeah, he died, he died. He died for you. He died for me. And I'm glad I got enough faith to believe that one day when this life is over, I'm going, uh, I'm going, uh, I'm going, uh, wow, to be with the Lord. Faith. 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 If thou shalt believe, in thine heart that God has raised him from the dead. Jesus said, thy will oh, have everlasting life. I'm glad, I'm glad, wow. I got faith, a little bit of faith. I've got faith, faith to keep on going. Why faith? woke me up this morning. If I didn't have faith that he wasn't going to wake me up, I wouldn't have never went to sleep. But faith, uh, wow, a little bit more faith is all you need. I got to go now. Faith will make it all right. Faith is what we need. Don't worry about trying to have as much faith as somebody else got. But just as a grain of mustard seed. Faith! What faith? Hallelujah. 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 We'll see you later, fine growth. Thank you, Lord. Faith! Hallelujah. 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 We thank God for that word about faith. What a time to talk about faith. We're in a time where we need faith in God to make it through. We're in a time where we don't know what's going on left and right. We don't know what's going to happen next. The only thing we have to hold on to is our faith in God. God. It's only our faith. Everything we're doing now is with faith. Not knowing where we're going, not knowing where the next is coming from. Everything is by faith. Even today, with all of the interruptions, the power going out on us and everything, we're still pushing because by faith, faith we believe that we can get God's message out sometimes the devil will throw some things at you and he try and get you discouraged but that faith that's on the inside is what you Come have on. to dig yeah. into yeah, yeah, to yeah. hold on hold even on. when things Come aren't on. going yeah, right yeah, yeah. and I don't know who I'm talking to today on, but there are some things that may yeah, not be going yeah, yeah, right yeah. for you and you may be ready to give up but you will have to hold on to that faith that's on the inside of you deep down and you have to know that God will take care of you. Even when we can't trace him, even when we can't feel him, even when things mess up, still God is in control. 
Sometimes we can feel like Jesus is at the bottom of our ship sleeping, but he's still in control. I heard Reverend Mario say one time, even when it looks like he's not doing anything, he's still doing something. So we just want to encourage you today to have that genuine, strong faith in God, no matter the interruption, no matter the problem, we know we have a God that can solve it. He is Alpha and Omega. He's our beginning and our end. Everything that comes, comes through him. So we're going to give God our best praise. And we're going to dig for that genuine faith in this time. But we thank you for watching today. Maybe there's someone out there that says, you know what? I've been trying to do this on my own. I'm ready to use this faith and I'm going to turn my life over. I'm going to surrender my life to Christ. If that's you today, all you have to do, all you have to do is turn your life over. it. You can have, you can simply pray this prayer with me. You can just say, Father, forgive me for my sins. I believe that Jesus died and that you raised him from the dead. I accept him now in my heart to be the Lord and Savior of my life. In Jesus' name, amen. And we believe if you said that from the bottom of your heart, that you are now saved. You are just like every single one of us. You are saved now. And it's a continuous journey. But it's your faith that's going to help you continue on. We just thank God. And if there's anyone that wants to join today, if there's anyone that wants to join today, you can join. Just simply put join in the comments. You can put join in the comments. And somebody from our team will get back with you. Amen. Amen. Right now, we're going to um, do our offering. It should be popping up on your screen. If you want to give... All you have to do is text the word give to 313-284-8585. 313-284-8585. Or you can download the Givelify app. Download the Givelify app and you can look up Pine Grove Missionary Baptist Church. And make sure that it's Pastor the Burley Porter. There are a couple of Pine Groves out there. Or you can go to the church website, thepinegrovechurch.com, thepinegrovechurch.com, and you can click on the word donate. Or if all of this new technology isn't for you, you can simply just mail it into the church, 1833 South Electric, Detroit, Michigan, 48217. 1833 South Electric. Detroit, Michigan, 48217. We love you. We thank each and every one of you for holding on even throughout all of the interruptions. Right now, we're going to have a word from the chairman of our deacon board, Deacon Grant. Praise God for all blessed flow. It's truly a wonderful message that our pastor brought this morning. I'd like to add a few words, a few scriptures here. Uh, in regards to uh, the message that we have received this morning. Uh, faith is essential to do the will of God. Yeah. Uh, the disciples of Jesus were taught to pray for, the, for God's will to be done on earth as it is in heaven. Yeah. Matthew chapter 6 verse 10, as Jesus told the disciples, thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Paul urged the Christian at Rome to allow God to transform their mind to know the perfect will of God in Romans 12, 2. In Romans 12, 2, Paul says, and be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is that good and perfect and acceptable will of God. And we thank God for uh, giving me that, that uh, word uh, uh, of these few scriptures to compliment a uh, uh, message that our pastor gave this morning. I hope you have a blessed day. Amen. 
Amen, amen, amen. We thank everybody. If you guys are still there, I know the internet is in and out, but if you're still there, we just want to thank you for joining us today to give God some worship and some praise. Remember, we want you to have that faith throughout this week, not just this week, but through the rest of your life. Let's walk in that strong, genuine, unwavering faith in God. Let's pray. God, we thank you for another day to be able to come into your house, oh God, or to sit with our families and give you praise. God, we pray now that you have your way in our lives, God. Have your way in the whirlwind and in the storms, oh God. We just bless you for who you are, God. We pray now that you uplift every watcher, every viewer, every 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 member, God, every visitor, God, in the name of Jesus, God. We pray for bold faith for each and every viewer, even now, God. And as we get ready to go, God, we pray that you keep us until we come together again, God. We give you praise. Now unto him that is able to keep us from falling, may he lead us and guide us until we come together again again and we all said amen now we're going to see you on tuesday for bible class at 5 30 in jesus name amen